Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you're all doing fantastic today. Uh, Pax Gold, let's talk about this one. This one is supposedly backed by um, gold. So um, a lot of people are buying it. Uh, if they're buying, you know, if they have a lot of crypto and they want to buy gold instead, it's a blockchain infrastructure building transparent through its formative financial solution. Um, and they don't have much info here. But they do have handle Faxos here. And this is the same people that actually... Uh, issued USDT in that way. So that is one thing they are doing correctly. Uh, and I think a lot of people fail to mention like the, the improvements. There's tons of improvements in that sense there in that aspect. So that's definitely good news right overall. Uh, I am for sure really, really excited to see what more of like projects will come out of this. Like there could be plenty of other projects in that sense uh, than just this one in that aspect. So that being said, personally, I think this is just the start of something bigger. Like Paxos, uh, it's actually like a tool for a lot of these projects. So if you type in here Paxos Gold, you can see most people buy Paxos Gold. Um, it's, it's basically backed in that way. Now, I don't know how many people are going to be buying gold. I think as crypto goes up, more, more, more people will buy gold as well. But other than like having billboard ads and having the gold-backed asset Paxos G, which is by Paxos, bought it on the streets, they had this marketing and a lot of people uh, came around and talked about this, uh, actually came back to this. So that is one good news for a lot of these crypto exchanges in that factor. Uh, that I'm seeing right now. So that being said, what do you guys personally think about this one? I think it's uh, very, very early uh, to get invested in gold, but it's not really going to increase that much in value compared to, for example, something like Ethereum. I think most people are buying this for a very simple reason. You know, maybe they want to hold gold and they have a lot of crypto to hold in that sense. You know, so a lot of people also hold USDT, in that aspect. So that's something you really have to consider yourself. Do you want to hold gold? If the answer is yes, then this project might be very well for you. If the answer is no, then this project might not be for you in that aspect. So definitely consider that and I will keep you guys updated with more news in that aspect. If you guys want to be kept up with more content like this, be sure to smash that like button. Till next time, peace everyone. Sui. So let's talk about Sui. Why is it up to $2? And I wanted to check actually on their Twitter page. What's happening, everyone? Hopefully you're all doing fantastic today. I sure am. There's been a lot of talk on Sui the past few moments. And Sui has been really seeing an increase of people um, coming back and talking about it. So we're proud to announce uh, that all games built on Sui Network will have a built-in access to Stardust Wallet. So I think this is what actually is keeping, you know, Sui so trending and popular right now. There's like ton of activities for Sui and Sui is like one of these growing blockchains. Gaming and networking is becoming a big thing, especially like a lot of these crypto exchanges want to work with. Um, they're investing a lot into crypto gaming. And Sui right now just had a huge partnership uh, with Stardust. So it's fully integrated in Sui and starting today can help developers and builders launch their projects directly on chain. By the way, smash that like button if you haven't already, improving the user experience over here. So that's the first partnership they have. But if you look at Sui over here, it really has a lot of partnerships. Like it has over $600 million in total value locked. So it's not a that small amount as people think. It's actually a pretty big amount in that sense. Um, and it definitely makes a world of difference. So we also hit 100 million in average daily volume over a seven day period. So it does seem to me that the more whales, more people are coming back. Like, um, And they also started offering incentives. So look at this, scale up incentives like lending protocol. All of that really gave people more incentive to come back to this crypto project to talk more about it say okay I'm, I'm here in crypto you know today so to me it's absolutely amazing what they have done so far it's been it's been huge um and it's no small feat as people say so that is one aspect to it i definitely think it's a very very big factor 
but they have all these projects for which you need to use sui for that give rewards um and people started using that like the big whales maybe like put in 100 200 300k and the price instantly doubled like this is a smart marketing tactic and while sui was doing that now they have gaming partnerships so that's another thing that a lot of people don't consider like these gaming partnerships are a pretty pretty big thing um in my honest opinion so that's that's a huge huge factor so again guys if you guys want to be kept up to date with more content like this also be sure to smash that like button if you haven't already there's been really a ton of amazing content um coming for sweet now this is another partnership that i wanted to cover just on this channel Courses from decade work so they are launching like sweet courses for people or like developers giving them the tools how you can actually launch your own stuff you know because coding is very expensive it's very i would say it's 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 not like it's not like just easy go easy easy come easy go it's it's not that simple right so what you have to know is a lot of these projects, they're very hard to maintain, very hard to achieve. And that's exactly what Sue is doing right now. It's trying to like solve these problems um, that we were seeing. It's trying to like go a step ahead uh, and focus on being the bigger platform out there. So uh, also like staking, like, you know, people basically locking their money, uh, launching the ambassador program. All of this really helps Sue's price. So if you guys want more content like this, be sure to smash that like button and I will keep you guys with more news. Until next time, peace everyone. So hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Seems like Vitor is coming back and that is the big news I have for you today. So what exactly is Vitor? Uh, if we check over here, it's one of the two tokens employed by Vitor chain public blockchain. VChain was initially launched in 2015, went through a heavy rebranding process in 2018. VChain is a native token platform. Vitor plays an essential role in overall functionality of the blockchain. So a lot of you guys probably heard about VChain and it was a very, very big thing overall um, when crypto started. So the Vitor token is a VIP 180 standard token, which represents the cost of using the VChain Tor blockchain uh, facility processes, transactions on the blockchain. Again, ton of good news overall. VChain is a leading enterprise grade L layer one blockchain. Now, the issue is it really fell off from its all time highs. Uh, I still think it has a lot of potential. So that's one good thing. Like it's still getting super, super early for projects like that. So that's one good news. Uh, the issue I have with this is like how many people uh, are coming back now to VChain? VChain was very popular in like 2018. But now it recently made a rebranding announcement and it got trending again. Like Vitor is basically the token that's that's keeping VeChain alive. It's like the 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 heart of of VeChain. So for get complex set, setups and while stress, VeChain streamlines smart contract interaction for individual and businesses, enabling smart contract uh, deployment operation and asset management. So they are trying to revive this project in a sense, which is very good for a lot of people. Like we have been wanting to hear that for quite some time, actually. And that's definitely the big news for VeChain. Um, and they're trying to give more on, on like giving people the tools to, to build their own products. So X to earn the app. So, you know, basically like how Ethereum works is nobody buys Ethereum for Ethereum itself, but because you can build cool products on it, it's like makes it so much easier to make all these transactions, to make all these host programs. So Ethereum is like the simplest to, to build your own token or to build your own like contract or to build your seamless integration. That's something VeChain is trying to do, to be honest. Um, and that's the good news. Uh, and right now they are coming back in a big way. Like they said, they're making their own wallet. They're making all these crypto content. Uh, and that's where VeChain really does want to win in that aspect. So Web3 is a just innovation on its path to leading involvement in sustainability, effortless and rewarding. Let's redefine normal and daily actions into collective value. So I will keep you guys updated with more content like this. If you guys want, there's been tons of content inbound on what exactly is changing, what's new, what's not new. 
um, that is something that I will keep you guys updated. So they said, be a part of the driver for global adoption and better world. Uh, basically that. So seems like VeChain is coming back in a big way for a lot of people um, that are into crypto. Uh, and that, that is the big news I have for today for VeChain. So if you guys want, be sure to smash that like button and I will keep you guys updated with more news. Until next time, peace out.